So this morning, we're going to talk about faith, and we're going to look at a famous chapter in the Bible that talks about lots of people of faith, Hebrews 11. But before we get into Hebrews 11, in Hebrews chapter 10, we're reminded that Christ is the one who's made us holy by his sacrifice. And we're encouraged to draw near to God and to persevere in our faith in Jesus. Hebrews chapter 11 recounts the stories of many heroes of the faith, and it explores faith a bit more. Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance of, about what we do not see. St. Augustine wrote, Faith is to believe what you do not see. The reward of this faith is to see what you believe. And some lines from the U2 song, Walk On, echo both Augustine and Hebrews 11.1. 1. You're packing a suitcase for a place none of us has been, a place that has to be believed to be seen. Now, as I've been thinking about faith for a few weeks, uh, preparing for the message, I've realized it's not easily defined. But one of the things that Hebrews 11 does for us is it describes it by showing us people of faith, people who've gone before us. And reflecting on my own journey and how I've grown in my faith, I think maybe the best way to come to a deeper understanding of what faith looks like is to see it in someone else. Maybe that's someone in the Bible. Maybe that's someone you've read about. Maybe that's someone that you know personally. And Hebrews 11 is a long chapter, so I promise I won't read all of it. Um, I just want to read the list of characters and some of the other verses interspersed. Now, we've been hearing the stories of some of these people of faith over the last few months, uh, so I hope that you'll remember some of the ways they demonstrated faith, because I'm not going to go into it a lot. And if you've not read this chapter before or the stories of, uh, that it refers to, I encourage you to do so sometime soon. I'm actually going to start in chapter 10, verse 39, and then I'm going to skip around a bit. Well, not skip around, but skip over some sections. Um, so I encourage you to read the whole chapter later on. But we do not belong to those who shrink back and are destroyed, but to those who have faith and are saved. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. By faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. By faith, Noah. By faith, Abraham, when called to go, went. By faith, Sarah. All these people were still living by faith when they died. They did not receive the things promised. They only saw them and welcomed them from a distance, admitting that they were foreigners and strangers on earth. By faith, Abraham, when God tested him, offered Isaac as a sacrifice. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau. By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed each of Joseph's sons. By faith, Joseph. By faith, Moses' parents hid him. By faith, Moses led his people, God's people, out of bondage. By faith, the people passed through the Red Sea. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell. By faith, the prostitute Rahab was not killed. And what more shall I say? I do not have time to tell about Gideon, Barak, Samson, and Jephthah, about David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith 
conquered kingdoms, administered justice, and gained what was promised, who shut the mouths of lions and quenched the fury of the flames and escaped the edge of the sword, whose weakness was turned to strength and who became powerful in battle and routed foreign armies. These were all commended for their faith Yet none of them received what had been promised, since God had planned something better for us, so that only together with us would they be made perfect. I think sometimes in our lives we conclude or we think that faith is the same as certainty. But if you really uh, listen to the stories of these people that I've just listed, they didn't have a lot of certainty. Um, Hebrews 11, looking back at their lives, can reflect on how they had faith and how faith shaped them, how they stepped out. But they didn't have faith, they didn't have certainty when they stepped out, when they followed through. So faith is not the same as certainty. In fact, it's the very tenuousness of things that actually means we have faith. Confident in what we hope for and assured of what we do not see. Blaise Pascal wrote about faith, faith is different from proof. The latter is human. The former is a gift from God. Now, does this mean that we have faith without reason or rationale? No, but it does mean that there will always be mystery and the need for trust in what cannot ever be fully known, what can't actually be proved. The most important thing, I think, to understand about faith, it is that it is more about a relationship. It's more about the one who promises than the promises themselves. Oswald Chambers said, faith is deliberate confidence in the character of God whose ways you may not understand at the time. Now, when we talk about faith in the Christian context, we're talking about a relationship with God through Jesus. In Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, we're exhorted to fix our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Jesus is the pioneer and perfecter, the beginning and the end of our faith. I think one of the things that strikes me as I read through this chapter is that some of these um, people of faith that we look at is that the, the verse actually says they did not receive the things promised. They only saw them and welcomed them from a distance. And the fulfillment of what was promised is the coming of Jesus. And we have received this promise. So... They had faith in God, in what God was calling them to do. And we have even more reason for faith because Jesus has made it more, even more clear what, um, what the way to God is. So faith is more than a vague hope that something good is out there. But it's also not the closed certainty of those who think that they have God all figured out. 